I got my Phantom 4 Advance in my hand. We're going to go ahead and update the firmware today. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Craig with Squappy's Drone Video. So as I said, we are going to go ahead and update the firmware on the Phantom 4 Advance. Now, when I say update, it's actually going to just be a refresh of the firmware. I've been having some issues with my camera going randomly out of focus, and a fix that I've seen online has been reflashing the firmware. So what we're going to go ahead and do is do that today. So I do currently have my USB cable that came with the drone plugged into my computer right now. And currently, I do have the DJI Assist app uh, on here. I've actually downloaded the latest version as of doing this today. We're looking at version 2.0.6 on the Macintosh uh, operating system. And that's what we're going to be using today. So what you got to do is take your battery and pop it right in. Once you do that, you're of course going to go ahead and press and then press and hold. You'll hear the fan spin up, and it's going to make its fun noises. There they are. And let it go through its little IMU calibration, and then the lights will start flashing. So once you see the lights flashing green, yellow, and red, and just kind of cycling back through that on these back lights here, take the micro USB end, and make sure you get it plugged in. Once you do that, as you'll see on the screen, which I'll switch to, it does go ahead and recognize that we are on the Phantom 4 Advanced. So what we're going to do is double click, and it's going to go ahead and try reading the firmware. Now, as it shows on the screen, it does go, it is going to say that we are on the most current firmware, which is correct. We're on the most current firmware. But what we're actually going to go ahead and do is reload that. Now, I don't see an update ver a button here. I don't see a reload button. But there is a refresh button, and that's exactly what we're going to hit today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on refresh. And it does give some warnings. It says the whole update requires approximately 15 minutes. Uh, the following items are required. Computer is connected to the internet. Well, obviously it's connected to the internet. The DJI device is powered on. Can you hear this thing? It's powered on. And then, of course, the USB connection. Well, I wouldn't be in the app without the USB connection, now would I? So, of course, what I'm going to do is click on the Start Update button. Now, it's going to download the software, which, honestly, i got a pretty fast internet connection. I'm not worried about it taking long. As a matter of fact, as I said that, it's already at 99%. We're going to go ahead and let that finish up. Now the fun part. It's going to take a few minutes for it to transmit. So we're going to let it sit here. This is the part that usually does take about 15 minutes. So I'll fast forward this for you. Well, transmitting done. Now I'll fast forward for you. And here we are, we're back. All right, and the drone is powering back up at this point. As you can see, we are at 99%. It'll go ahead and update in just a few seconds here, and there it goes, update complete. So now we do have a fully updated Phantom 4 Advanced. So we're gonna go ahead and hit back. Now the version of course hasn't changed now if there was a new version of course this would show a different number that is current but that's about it here now there hasn't been an update for the phantom 4 advanced and going on a year and a half now but still some people might need to do it let's say you just got one and it was on older firmware let's say you have camera issues like i've been having a refresh of that firmware isn't going to go ahead and do you too uh too bad anyway so 
Um, I do appreciate you guys watching this. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment uh, in the box down below. Um, do like the, put a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel, of course. I would really appreciate that. And stay tuned for more content like this. I do hope everyone has a good day. Appreciate you guys watching. Bye, everyone.